All right, folks. Uh, welcome to a uh, to another one of my ZBrush tutorials here. And today, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a uh, coffee cup with ZBrush. And let me get my tablet set up here. <coughs> All right. So what we're going to start with, we're going to go over to our uh, tools, and I'm going to start with a cylinder CD. Uh, cylinder 3D, that is, not CD. But uh, anyway, we're just going to start with a simple cylinder 3D, and we're going to initialize it, which is before we turn it into a poly mesh. And uh, I want to put a hole, I want to uh, make it hollow. So we're going to slide the inner radius, and you can see the it's making it into a hollow cylinder. And then we're going to probably get a little shape here. We're going to make it and we're going to taper the top. This is going to be the uh, core of our coffee cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a poly mesh. We're going to make it into a poly mesh. Now we have it as a poly mesh, and I'm going to get it aligned on my uh, <coughs> with the y, with the z axis as I, as I normally do. So we're going to go rotate this thing. Stretch out this rotator, and then we're going to uh, let's see. We need to get it. Uh, need to get it oriented like that. Need to get it oriented like this. Now we should uh, be able to rotate it. And now we got it rotated on the uh, y-axis. This is a preference I have. So I'm going to go ahead and change the material while I'm at it. We're going to change it to our toy plastic material. And that's right here. We're just going to go with a basic white for now. So we got our poly mesh uh, cup part. And what I'm going to introduce today is the subtool palette. We're going to uh, go to the subtools. And we got this, uh, it's got an abbreviation PM3D Solar 3D1, but we're going to rename that. We're gonna call it the. Uh, uh, <coughs> we're gonna call it the uh, uh, cup. Uh, the cup uh, base cylinder. All right now. So in the subtools here, we can uh, assemble our parts as we build, but we need a base for our cup. So we're gonna go back to the cylinder 3D tool. And we're going to make a bottom for our cup. And so we're going to go to the initialization. We're going to make this kind of flat. Like that, maybe. That's good enough for now. And we're going to make it into a poly mesh also. And so uh, I'm going to get it oriented. Uh, as usual, uh, what I usually do here. That. I want to get it. Uh, hmm. I want to get it aligned with the y axis. So we're going to rotate from here. There we go. And we're going to move it down a little bit. Now it's aligned with the y axis for the rest of our cup. So what we're going to do with this is. We're going to go back to our cup base cylinder, which is in the subtools palette, as you say. And this particular part is the one we want to append to there as part of the uh, this little flat piece we made. Now, now, you see we got a little base for our cup. Well, it, when it's a little bit big, so we're going to uh, solve that. We're going to go to our, we're going to rename this thing in our subtool palette. We're going to call this the cup bottom. Alright, now we got the bottom of our cup. We got a cup base cylinder. And we got a cup bottom. Now we, we want to uh, scale this cup bottom now, so we make it active in the subtool palette uh, and make it visible. And then we go to our little scale thing. And uh, I believe if we go to the middle, as you can watch here, we get the skin a little sort of 
we want to scale it on uh, three axes. So we're going to shrink it down. And we need to align it also. But we're going to make it so it fits in our cup. Now another thing in a subtool palette, you notice it's hidden. So we're going to do, down here we got uh, transparency. So now you can see that our, our cup bottom needs to move down a little bit to go to the bottom of the cup. So we go to the move and the transform and we move it down. Now it's going to be sticking out a little bit I believe. So we might have to scale it just a little bit more. And we want to scale on three axes. So there we go. Okay now make it transparent. It needs to move uh, needs to move down some more. So it's, we're just going to keep making some adjustments here. Get it lined up. I think this is going to be close enough for the purposes of a. Uh, hmm. Got a little bit of out of alignment there. So we're going to go to our cut base cylinder and slide it over just a tad. And go to the move. You kind of get the hang of moving these things around. So now we got a bottom for our coffee cup. So the next thing we need to make, we need to make a handle. So we got the sub two pallet over here. We got our cup base cylinder. We got our cup bottom. So now we need a handle. So we go back up to our tools pallet, just a regular tool pallet, and we uh, get a ring 3D. This is going to be. Our, uh, our cup handle. So we haven't made this into a poly mesh yet, but what we're going to do, we're going to initialize it because we we'll only need about half of it, really. And we might even change the radius a bit to about like that. And we want our coverage, we're just going to go ahead and put 180 in there, That's which is half of 360. And now we need to make this into a poly mesh. So we got it as a poly mass. Now we need to rotate it to go with the rest of our cup there. And we'll do that number. Oop. Press down the shift key to make it stick. We might want to move it up a little bit. So, okay, now we've got our cup handle. So we go back to where we have our cylinder uh, our cup bottom. We've got two tools there. So we're going to sub tools. Now we got a cup bottom and a cup base and this PM3 PM 3D ring 3D is our new poly mesh so we're going to append this to the uh, sub tool menu and it's going to be this part here. Now there's our handle so we're going to rename this to kind of keep track of what we're doing so we're going to call this uh, cup handle Now we need to kind of uh, position it correctly. Go up to our move. And we see it's a little bit, uh, it needs to be rotated a little bit. So we're going to rotate it and try to resize it a little bit. So it's more like a. Eh, okay, now we're going to move it again. So we got a pretty good fit there. What we want to do, we want to make sure that we don't see it poking through on the side to uh, give it that touch of realism. So we've pretty much got a uh, cup here. And maybe we should squash this a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to be good there. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it like that. Because we got it pretty well positioned. So we've got our simple, we've got our base cup established. Now, uh, and we've got our bottom. So we've got a, a complete cup there. Now, we want to make this thing kind of pretty. But we also want to add some geometry to all the pieces. Because we haven't divided the geometry in all these three pieces. We haven't added the geometry. But what I want to do here, right off, I'm going to get all our materials uh, correct. And uh, get everything in a toy plastic uh, 
So you can see it turn white over here in the subtools. And we're going to fill the color on that piece, which is our cup bottom. And we're going to get our handle filled with the toy plastic as well. So now all our pieces have the same material and the same color. But what we want to do next, we want to divide the geometry on all our pieces and yet keep them in the uh, subtool menu because <coughs> this way we can always add or delete or fix or whatever we want to do. But we're going to divide the geometry on the cut base cylinder first. So we're going to go to that. And I've been doing three levels. I'm going to go four. So we're going to go one, that's three, that's four. It's a good smooth parent. It, all these are we're going to make all these four. So we're going to go to our cup base. We're going to add geometry yet. And what you do when you do the division, what you're doing is you're making a, <coughs> a denser mesh, which uh, gives a little more detail to everything. Okay, now we got all our parts. We do have a little problem with the bottom. And we'll see, let's go fix, see if we can fix the cup base a little bit. Before we get started with the rest of our activities here, it looks like we need to scale this. Uh, let's try it on the two axis. We want to kind of hide it in and get it merged in. Uh, it's a little bit inside. So let's go to that transparency and see if this is going to help any. If we can kind of uh, get right on the edge. Okay. We're going to go with that. It still sticks out a little bit, but, hmm, well, maybe we should try scaling it in three axes. And maybe that will fix it. But it looks so. I'm going to turn our view here. I think we're going to go with that. That looks pretty good there. Okay. We do have a bottom of the cup. I hope our cup... No, our cup's going to leak. Huh. Our cup's going to leak. Okay. Well, we're going to leave it a little wide. And we have to reposition it again. And we're going to leave that edge on there for now. I think that's going to do it. And it's a little bit off too. Yeah, I think we got it pretty close. So we're going to leave it at that. We've got long, we've come a long way. Okay, what I want to do is I want to add some uh, maybe some kind of a color to this cup. So we're going to look at the poly mesh for a little bit. And we got a pretty fine mesh there. But what I want to do is I want to add a little, uh, uh, maybe a coffee color to it. So I want to do some mesh. I'm going to do a gradient, type of a gradient thing on this. <coughs> and uh, we're going to go to our masking. We're going to hold down the control key. And we're going to mask off about... I'm going to get fancy. We're going to make a uh, kind of a middle gradient there. Now we've got our mask on the cup base cylinder. So what I want to do is I want to blur this mask. I'm going to blur it a couple times there. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pick another color, kind of a coffee color. So we're going to go up to our color palette. And we're going to look for kind of a brown, uh, kind of a coffee type of color. Kind of a dark mocha color there, I guess you could call it. I'm going to fill it. Uh, well. And when I get back to my modifiers there. Oh, fill object. There we go. There we go. Alright. <coughs> now, let's uh, clear this mask. So we got kind of a uh, kind of a color there. Maybe we can uh, let's step back. 
Let's uh, go for a little more realism. Let's undo that. I'm going to see if I can get just the interior of the cup like I did before. I'm going to go to our poly mesh. Okay, we don't have an inside and outside on this. So. Huh. Okay, we don't have the interior and exterior like we did before in the bowls. It's a little different situation here. So it'd be kind of tough to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go back with that. We did originally. Uh, we'll call it, uh, we'll call it done. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so this is my, we're going to do a render. We'll do the render. Okay. So we're going to get rid of the floor. And uh, we're going to do a render. So we'll render our coffee cup. I like the uh, soft Z and a soft RGB. <coughs> and maybe we'll add a, uh, we've got to leave the depth of that. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and render this and finish this up. And uh, hopefully I'll come up with some more things to do here. But I uh, will do a render. And so you see we have our coffee cup there. Add a perspective to it. And run it again. Now, uh, like I say, I always like to, uh, if, I've, if you've made one coffee cup, you may want to use it again. So you want to save this as a tool. And we're going to save it in our ZBrush CS tools. And we're going to call this uh, coffee cup uh, uh, 5. I've made several before, so. We're just going to save that, and that, that saves you a little work. And when you save it like this, uh, what you can do, you'll still have your subtools in there. So let's do a new document. Let's just check this idea out. We're going to start with a new document. We're going to say no. And so, uh, anyway, you can load the tool again. Coffee cup five, we just did. And you load it. And you see the little three up here, that indicates that there's some subtools. So you still have your subtools with it, which means you can um, add and subtract things, you can uh, change the color, uh, do whatever you like. So, anyway, so thanks for watching my third ZBrush tutorial on how to make a coffee cup with ZBrush. And as always, I'm your, I'm your uh, radio talk show host at Freedom Minds Radio. And you can listen to my show every Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And tomorrow I'm going to do a show, and I hope to have an, uh, an EMT from Atlanta, and we're going to discuss emergency preparedness. So uh, thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right, so I'll talk to you later.